Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. I want to answer a few of the John O'Keefe questions that I've seen. And I have a reading in a few minutes. So this might be express. Um, I've already called in the quarters, asked for protection, set my intention. My intention is to get some answers. I jot, I wrote down about four of them so that I could work on them. The first question is why? What happened? So we'll call Mr. John in and invite him to the table, see what he wants to say. We'll start with Tarot, then we might switch to Ashley's cards. Okay, right off the rip. Good afternoon, thank you for coming if you're in the bleachers. This deck doesn't like to be read in reverse, so if you see me flip them, I'm gonna flip them. I also don't have a certain number that I always pull. I just pull intuitively. So we have the D card, and I don't mean dollar. I wonder if he was a player. Made of fun. He thought he was going to a party. We get that a lot. Um, hmm. Okay. The Seven of Wands is here. That's like a preparing for battle. So who is preparing for battle? I don't think that John, oh, we have two sevens. Hmm, whoa, okay. Hmm. Wow, I hope you guys can see this. I'll, I'm going to explain it. I'm just kind of seeing, wow, what is coming. Now we have an eight. Two eights, two sevens. All right, I'm gonna set these here. If you're in the bleachers, I didn't check the camera, but I know it's on, so. Okay, the way I'm looking at this is perhaps John was a player, big deal, who cares? I mean, he might've been. I have my own, uh, the McAlberts, that's what I'm going to call them, because I'll explain it. I'm just going to call them that because there are a couple of people on YouTube that call them the McAlberts already. So, okay. I wonder what John, if he like uncovered something, and I don't know. We're going to pull some of Ashley's cards, and then I'm going to explain all this. Um... Because it's looking to me like the McAlberts already had this in mind. This was already in motion. The Seven of Wands is preparing. The Eight of Wands is the fight. And the Knight of Swords. We've seen this with Frat Row. The Knight of Swords is here. I definitely feel like he was Lord there. This was not pure intentions at all. I also, like, he was the master of his trade. He was a cop. He, it looks like he just worked hard. He didn't really like to get in other people's business. He wasn't really into the drama that the McAlberts, I almost said the McCabe's, McCabe Alberts were into. He was lured with a party. We see this for Ethan all the time. And... He was actually thinking, like, do I really want to go? Is this really a good idea? His intuition was speaking to him. <laughs> I don't want to read these in the reverse either. Okay, so we're going to check Miss Ashley at the Reckoning. Check her out. Uh, she's right here on YouTube. She's on TikTok, too, and Insta, I think. And she has the Whispers of the Unsolved Oracle deck. Highly recommend them. She's not sponsoring this. I just love them and I love her. Um, so the way this is painting itself so far is John perhaps was a player. That's the D card, Ace of Wands is, let's just say he's not gonna stay in the morning and ask you to make him breakfast. He'll be in and out. Um, 
he was invited, coerced almost, this was above, to go to the McAlberts. He doesn't really like drama. That's not really his scene. He's not really into that scene at all. And they had been preparing. They were... Hmm. Did John have his own, like, investigation? Oh, boy. I don't know. But we're going to see. Let's see what Ashley's cards say. Murder. Well, that was pretty clear. Say straight up. Nailed it. Outside, out in the open. Oh. One of the questions was what was used to... Here, let me look at the little notebook. I was reading it in my... I all of a sudden wrote them down and it's in my journal if you're in the top and you can see this. The question was... Um, okay, why... What? What was the weapon? Like, did this happen... I don't know. We're going to keep going with that. Um, it's a male. My guess is Colin Albert. And that's almost a hill I would die on. I am like not loving. I don't like anything about his energy. I think he's disgusting. Busted up. Correct. So when you throw your hardest punch, that's with your right hand, isn't it? I'd say, I'm not sure. I'd say they're equal. You're hmm. equally strong with both hands. I'd say so. So in your words, you could fuck somebody up with either hand, right? Objection, Your Honor. You answer that? No, I'm not saying that. I bet you wouldn't say that. Yeah, so the nephew of the homeowner has a few problems in his story and a few problems telling the truth, even under oath, which sadly, unfortunately, has been a problem that we've seen repeated from the government's witnesses over and over again. Problems. And, all, you know, all the data must be wrong. That's the reason for the inconsistencies. For example, the Celebrate data or the deleted text or the officer's reports that list the wrong address or the dispatch log that lists the wrong times or the fact that the officer, for example, didn't include the confession in his report and so forth and so on. So again, we have another witness from the government who is sadly repeating the problem of the government's witnesses generally. Their credibility isn't really great. Because they're making all these wildly inconsistent statements, even under oath. So collectively, they seem to have some sort of collective problem with the truth. And uh, yeah, the whole thing is more than just a little sauce for the government's case against Karen Reed. Legal proceedings. Ashley cards are super on point today. Um, this even looks like, what's her name? The blonde judge. What's her name? Annoying. Low vibe, yeah. Mind control. Mind control could be the gaslighting that's going on. Mil you guys. On this military operation, the state patrol in Massachusetts, who we love, neighbor, <laughs> um, they run their program as though it's a military they call everything like very militant it's um barracks is what their headquarters are they call it they run it like a military machine it's political well we know that okay i'm gonna set this list right there so i can just look at it oh marriage see that's what i think i think that john and um, Karen Reed were much closer than people give them credit for. They make her sound crazy. That's what they always do. Even Theranos, the one with the voice. What's her name? I know you guys know. She just had two children. She tricked every lonely old rich man. <laughs> um, even she said, First, they call you. Well, I don't know who she's quoting. I'm going to say it was an original thought, but it's like first they call you crazy and then they do it. It's probably G Steve Jobs. She's obsessed with him. Um, <laughs> karmic justice. That's true. In the neighborhood. Travel. Love. Oh, boy.
Ashley's cards are nailing it. Okay, I want to narrow down. So it sounds, okay, so based on Ashley's cards and the tarot, the McAlberts already had this plan in motion. This was done by a male. I personally think that it was Colin Albert. It says it's outside in the open. Well, his body was found outside. It was a murder. You know that. Uh, there's Judge. I want to say Judge Penny, but I don't think it's her name. I guess there are people standing outside the courtroom with blonde wigs on. I just think that's hilarious. Uh, marriage ceremony and low vibration, militant. Well, I mean, they were police officers and the state patrol runs their stuff like military. I want to know. The questions that we have are why? Let's ask some yes, no's. I just want to ask, was he doing an investigation, like not as part of his work, like on his own into the McAlberts, the Proctor thing? Was he doing his own investigation into the McAlberts, the McCabe's? Being like, what the hell are they doing? McCabe testifying that he saw abnormal tire tracks in the snow. It's just a weird, like a wave. It was a weird wave in the road. You could see um, the tire marks. He added that after looking out three times, the dark SUV had moved down the road and that neither Reed nor O'Keefe made it inside. I must have looked out one more time because there was no vehicle there anymore. Or a proctor? Like... Why? I'm going to ask him yes or Let's ask if he was doing an investigation into the McCabe's, the Proctor's, or the Higgins. That might give us some motive. I mean, being an annoying neighbor is annoying, but why would you invite an annoying neighbor over for drinks? And like, how old are these people? <laughs> They're older than I am, and they drink like they're in college. Maybe they miss school or something. I don't know. But um, so the question that we're going to ask specifically is, was John O'Keefe running an investigation on his own on the side for Albert McCabe's Proctor or Higgins? Your answers in the cards. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Um, let's ask it. A, let's ask it a different way. Was John O'Keefe? Did John O'Keefe have dirt on anyone? Um. No. I feel like he did though. Okay, let's not call it like have dirt. And I don't mean a formal investigation. I just mean like, did he have notes on Proctor? By all means. Okay, that's what Proctor's investment into this was. Okay. That makes sense. Did he have notes on Higgins? So Proctor is the state patrol officer who is the head of the John O'Keefe death investigation. Higgins is, I think he's FTA. He's some kind of federal agent. And Brian Albert, whose home it was at, was a Canton police officer. Nothing to see here, folks. Did John O'Keefe have notes on Higgins? It's guaranteed. Awesome. Okay. Let's ask it the same way for uh, Albert. What's his name? Uh, I just I just said it. Okay. Did John O'Keefe have notes? On, oh, well, a bunch of cards jump, but it's not the right deck to check it. Um, 
Did John O'Keefe have, did I write the Albert's name? Colin is the son. Colin Albert's dad. On, and now let's call him the Alberts. Did John have notes on the Alberts? Either the dad or the son. Indeed. <laughs> Bam. There's our motive right there. Straight up. So I'm going to write this down for our recap when we get to that point. I don't really like writing this in a journal, but here we are. Okay, so John was Lord, L Lord, to Albert. John had notes. I'm just going to call them notes because I, it's not like a formal investigation. He was jotting stuff down. I wonder if it's in his police book. Notes on Higgins, Proctor, and Albert. Okay, so we have our motive. Number one, motive. The motive would be that to silence him so that he couldn't release the notes, like what he was finding. And maybe it was like a dirty investigation. Maybe they were all pretty dirty running out of Canton. The motive is, um, I would say, to silence him. Okay. Next. All right, so we have our motive, means, and opportunity. So the means, that's the next question. And the opportunity was he was at the house. Oh, sorry. I didn't give a recap of what this case is. So John O'Keefe is the Boston police, is a Boston police officer who was killed on another Boston police officer's lawn. That's the Alberts. Okay. So usually that's a really big deal and they did not treat him with the respect or any it, to me. I don't even remember this funeral happening. And usually when a Boston police officer or anything, it, it makes national news. It's a really big deal. This I didn't feel like was. The McAlberts are an incestuous white trash, in my personal opinion. I call them Whiskey Tango. You can call them whatever you want. Um, family, been there forever. Everyone's married, related. They also like are very big bullies. I've seen them bullying people online. It's trashy. I'm not into that at all. And they're involved. So we just established a motive. The motive that we just established is that John O'Keefe was keeping some kind of notes. Like it wasn't a formal investigation. It was like a, in his little notebook. I wonder if they should subpoena his notebook. If it hasn't been destroyed, I bet that's where those notes are. His cop book. Um, so the motive is that he was doing his own, I don't want to call it an investigation, but he was jotting stuff down. The means, that's the next question. He was found with what looks like dog bite marks and a gash across the back of his head. And the opportunity was poor Karen Reed, this poor, I feel really bad for her because everyone's been, well, I've had my own not proud moments of she and her boyfriend were kind of in a tiff or something. And he literally ran into the house just to see if they were welcome, if it was cool and never came out. And so she left some like pretty spicy text messages. She might've thought that he was cheating on her. And they were read in front of open court and that sucks because, I mean, it happens. Some people just don't bring out the best in you or whatever, but you wouldn't want it all over the news or all over open court. So the opportunity was that he was alone in this house. It was a party for one of the sons, the Albert sons, not Colin. Colin is a little demon, I feel, in my personal, very humble opinion. He's... If you don't know what I mean, uh, maybe I'll put a clip of Fiatin saying bang, bang in here. It's at 18 minutes. I'll put that clip in and that'll do it speaking for me. 
Okay, opportunity is that he was alone. Okay, another thing. So now we're going to find our means. What killed him? Like, what was it that killed him? Um, how should we do that? So he had dirt on Proctor, Alberts, and Higgins. I would call that motive. That's enough. And Higgins was, like, making out with Karen Reed one time. He sounds like a stage five clinger. They made out and he thought they were in love. And he's like older than me too. Social skills are a little bit rusty. So. I don't really have any like dark cards. What are these? Oh, here are, um, we can use the um, Game of Thrones. I don't know if we're going to, I don't know. We'll just go with it and see what happens. What time is it? Okay. I have a couple more minutes before I have a reading to jump onto. So now we're looking for the means. Okay. He was, this is all very convoluted, but it doesn't need to be in the sense that he was found on the front lawn. There is a plow driver named Lucky who plowed it too. Didn't see him. Karen came back around 6, 5.30 or 6, and found him on the lawn in a blizzard. And he didn't have the outdoor. It was like he was inside the house. One of his shoes is missing. We just saw him at the hospital with socks on, but he had like a long sleeve T-shirt. And now I just want to know how, like... It looks to, all right, I've seen on um, Truth and Transparency, I think it was her, I love her by the way, she was saying that he turned, came in the house to, she's done the breakdown of this, highly recommend, go check it out, I'll tag her below because she has done all the work, and um, she thought he came in the house because they had, he had an Apple Watch on so they can stock his steps and to get back outside, he would have had to go left, but he somehow took a right, which I think is where Chloe, Chloe's the dog, was, and she has a little bit of a track record of being a little protective. I think she put two people in the hospital after this happened. His, there have been experts on YouTube who stand by the marks on his arm look like dog bites. Okay. So, the, but that doesn't answer the gash in the back of his neck. It, to me, looks like he fell on a curb, like outside on the curb. Or he fell somewhere and hit his head. That's what I've gathered. And we can't ask the medical examiner, poor lady, because she was bullied by Proctor. Proctor, his cans aren't clean. I put it next to Maori because... He can't remember anything. It's his investigation. He's the expert. So we're going to see what it was. So maybe it was dog plus. Plus, I shouldn't come also note, Brian Albert was the homeowner who was on like Boston Blues or some TV show, but he was ex-Navy or an ex-Army. Ex he's ex-military. And he specializes in hand-to-hand -hand combat, which when my husband went to cop camp, that's what I call the academy, he did not learn hand-to-hand -hand combat like that. Ace of Spears, what about knife wounds? Did he have knife wounds? I don't remember hearing anything about a knife wound. Someone had a knife there. And it wasn't him. I wonder if we can, have, if the autopsy, I don't really like looking at autops autopsy stuff, but I wonder if there are knife wounds on him. That doesn't explain the cut on the back of his head. Oh, right. okay. Okay. 
the world that's ending, that's done, 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 done. Three of swords, he was betrayed, you know that. I was just thinking, if I get a card that has dog on it, that would be confirmation. The world technically does. Uh, it's right there. Is that a dog? Yeah, the rest are like um, mythical. The dog and a knife. What happened to the back of his head? So this basement has since been remodeled. They pulled up the carpet, not suspicious. Well, because the police didn't even go inside. Didn't do a crime scene investigation. They also like, it was all very sketchy. I mean, they, Canton responded to the call and then the state patrol took it over. So for like an hour, the crime, crime scene, and I'm not putting the crime scene in quotes, I'm putting their calling, it is a crime scene and they weren't treating it like a crime scene, was left unattended. Anyone, anyone could go in the house. They never secured the house. Um, I mean, here's a fighting card straight up. It's almost like he got jumped. Was Higgins there later that night? For some reason, I think it was like Brian Albert, Colin Albert. Is Higgins a fighter? Strength, he was overpowered. Nine of swords, tower, yeah. Oh, and here's a dog. That's the confirmation I wanted. So Chloe was involved. If he was a stranger, I mean, any dog, but especially this dog, if he was a stranger and he walked into her space, she has to defend her space. So maybe they were fighting. There might have been a fight club in the basement. I've heard that. And Colin's hands, he's such an idiot. His hands, he was right-handed and his hands were all um, cut. And he said, and they were like that. I think he had a grand jury test it, like a, he had to speak to the grand jury, testify. And he said it was from falling on the ice. Yeah. So, and he had like a Lacoste t-shirt or sweatshirt on double collar. Very frat boy. Speaking of, I don't know if he was in a frat. I should look it up. I guess it doesn't really matter for this, but... So this is what I think it was truth and transparency got that he took a wrong turn. If Chloe started attacking him, because in her defense, she thought that she was protecting from a stranger. Then like, why, where's the go ahead from Brian Albert, Colin Albert, perhaps Higgins to then start a street fight in their basement? Does this sound weird to anyone else? Going home after the bar closes over the age of 25 sounds weird to me. In a general, like a house party at late night. Unless, I don't know, they drink a lot. That's all they ever do. That's all they talk about, which is also fine. Okay, so I definitely think Chloe's involved. There are definitely knives involved. We have, I mean, the Ace of Sport, this would be Swords, and the, what is this? The Five of sport, Swords. This was the fight with knives. It broke his heart. This is our poor Ethan. That's a conundrum. And I have to go, I have another reading to do right now. So the means, I'm gonna write down that the means was Chloe plus knives. All right, so this is our means, motive, and opportunity. John had notes on, in recap, for John 
O'Keefe, the why, answering a few questions. Thank you guys so much for putting him in there. I appreciate it. Um, the why. He had notes, and I feel like they were in his little cop journal. What do they call those things? A notebook or a notepad that he carries on him in person. I feel like he had notes written on Higgins, Proctor, and the Alberts. Motive was to silence him. The means. That's the one last question I'm not 100% Confirm. I'm not ready to say this is what I, well, this is what I think. He took the wrong turn, met Chloe, because he was just going back to get Karen and let her, tell her to come in. Get Chloe, hit, met Chloe. Chloe was defending her space, her owners. But somehow Brian Albert, oh, and this was another thing. After the police and stuff were all there in the morning, the Alberts never came out of their house. That's weird. And he's a trained CPR, everything. So somehow Chloe, I think he met Chloe. I don't know where the jump from an, a, ta a dog attack to dead is. There were knives that were involved. That doesn't explain the back of his head. Could he have just been like on the ground and hit with, because I know there was a gym down there. It could have been like a barbell. Oh, that would suck. Maybe he was already face down, but then his nose would probably be broken. I don't think that his face was broken. So that we're not sure yet. The means definitely had Chloe and a knife to do with it. And the who is not answered yet. And the opportunity was he was alone. So I think we're going to have to come back to this. And I'm sorry to have to cut this short, but I have to jump on another call. So I am going to upload this now. You guys will see it and I will see you all later. Thank you all so much for your help, your everything. Like, subscribe, share, do all the things. Um, thank you to everyone who is in the fam. I love you guys. And I will... <laughs>